Hey guys, Brady here. Um, while the video was uploading, I finished this part and stopped. So, uh, I'm stuck now. I can adjust it however I want. And it'll go back down easily. So, yeah. I'm done with that part. Well, the stock part. So, what you want to do now is if you have a red dot site made, like that, this is going to be a war gun. I made a red dot. I made this one earlier this morning. The one out of a, um, the one out of a pop pan. This is the one I made out of a pop pan and cardboard and tape. So yeah, here's this basic red dot. Well, it really isn't basically a red dot right now because I don't have plastic on the end of it, right? Later I'm going to put plastic on it. Sometime I'm just going to cut out a piece of foam core poster board and I'm going to trace the foam core on like this. I'll put it on probably like soon. But right now we're focusing on getting an AK done. So what you want else to do now is you want to make the stock thing that you hold right there. What no? We're doing the clip right now. So what you want to do is get a piece of cardboard like this. And see how much cardboard you can fit. I can fit. So that is going to be my clip. And yes, guys, if you're sleeping enough, you do have to cut a hole in it right there so you can fit your clip in. So when you're done with that, cut your clip out. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So. So you should have something like that. But what you want to do to make it tight, man, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to tape this up because I am going to
want to tape this up right here. And when you do that, you want to make sure you get right up next to where the clip hole is. Like this. Just making sure it's nice and tight. Cutting that tape off. Like, you want to make sure you got it right there where the clip is. So it can be nice and tight when you put the clip in. Like this. I'm putting the clip in. And it's nice and tight. So what you want to do now, put a piece of cardboard right in front of it. Or a piece of foam core poster board. It really does not matter. So what I'm do now, I'm going to use foam core poster board. Because I want to get rid of some of it. So I drew a square. That square. What I'm going to do now is get my knife and cut right in it. Get your phone and core poster board like this. Put it right on the tip of it. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get this. So then when I tape that on, I am going to make sure it's nice and secure. on the top, like right there, so when you do that, hit your clip and see if it'll fit you. If it does, you're in the good thing, like mine does. My clip still fits, so I'm good. So what you want to do now, is you want to build this thing right there. And you want to cut it out three times if you're using thick cardboard. And I forgot to mention this if you're making an AK 47 like this, you'll have to use, if you're using thin cardboard or thin um, foam core poster board, you will need at least six to five um, cutouts. So, yeah. Uh, but if you're make, but if you want a crappy AK 47 like, This one, go ahead and do whatever you want. This is the crap. This is the crappy one right here. And here is going to be the better one. And I may, if I want to, just change this into a shotgun and make a little mag. You know what? I'm not making an AK 47. Screw that. We are going to make a mini shotgun. Oh. Now, I already have one and I don't have a pump. Okay, whatever. We're just going to go to make a shotgun. I want to cut a little bit more. Make it a shotgun. So, like this. So, here's your shotgun.
brought your nag. And it's pretty good. Then your pump is going to be up there. I'll show you when I'm done. What you want to do for the pump I'm going to cut this out and demonstrate. I have on this. Three more minutes. Okay, so what you want to do then, cut down to here, So the middle pieces, this is going to be middle, other side, other side. The barrel is going to go in here. So yeah, I'm going to end it right here, guys. Um, Comment, rate, and subscribe. I changed my mind. I'm making a shotgun. So yeah, peace.